Hello, welcome back to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This is going to be my third time playing through a random map on this channel. The previous two times have been kind of like special videos. The first one was a Halloween special, and the second one was a Christmas special. This time around I'm going to just call it the Resurrection special because it's been two years since I last played, on the channel at least, and I've appropriately picked Jedi as our hero this time. He is the Resurrection Specialist, and Resurrection Specialty is actually a genuinely good specialty, so I'm taking this one a little bit more seriously. I picked an extra large sized map with an underground, so it could go on for quite some time. This menu here is to do with the HD mod, and I think it's recently added because I've never seen it before. I'm just going to click tick and hope for the best. And let's just see what we get. Okay, so we've actually started above ground, which I didn't expect. Normally with dungeon you do start underground. Uh, we're on snow, which is also unusual. With dirt paths. Some block to the north. But it looks like we're free to go south. There's a trade cart there. A windmill. And we've got... Hmm, we've got Orin available. Which is an unexpected turn of events. Probably actually a better hero. Because that archery specialty is really nice. I've got two ranged units in this town. Orin is probably one of my favourite heroes in general, but... I will probably get him as a secondary hero. It is an extra large map with underground, so it could go on for a really long time. But I will try to stick with Jedi as my main hero. So uh, let's just get Sinker for now. Just for those extra units. Pass some back over to Jedi. And... We'll wait and see what we buy. It might be that we need to break out early, so that would require me to buy some Evil Eyes. So I, I don't want to commit just yet. Let's just see what we're dealing with. Okay, that's really bad. Uh, we can't go anywhere south. North, we've got lots of harpies. And we can go west as well, so I will buy Orin and we'll do some exploring with him and hope to find something slightly more promising in a different direction. Right. Okay, we can we can go west, so that's a, a slightly more promising start. Down here we can fight something. Beholders by the looks of it. Hmm. Okay. I think we're gonna have to fight the harpies, although we can go around them, but it's probably a fight we can win fairly easily. So let's get the Town Hall, buy a few more units, and then head out. Is it a fight we want to take? I don't actually have much ranged firepower, so I probably would take quite a few unnecessary losses there, so I'm going to just go around it instead. And go for the campfire, the mercenary camp, that's all good. Quite useful. In turn, I'm not expecting to see any rival players for a while. There are five of them, but on a map this large it might be some time before they actually make their appearance. Neither of these two appeal to me. Let's just see if we can find some money somewhere. That's a dead end. 600 gold there. North, we would have to kill the rogues. I think the rogues should be fairly manageable, so let's have a go.
Okay, they're going south, so that's all good. Let's me waste some time. Let's go there for now. Gonna have to shoot, doing almost no damage there. And I don't think there's anything useful we can do with that trog other than try and lure them out. They are taking their time. We can now get some better shots off. Okay, the problem is they're 6 speed, and my best units are also 6 speed. To minimize losses I might have to go in. I will do it. And it doesn't really matter if we lose the griffins because they are lowering our morale anyway, so no problem there. Kind of surprised they went for the trogs. They got seven of them. That's okay. Job done. Probably wasn't necessary to fight them, but now we've opened up that, that northern path, so we can go check that out. Probably with a different hero. And there is the entrance to the underground guarded by some wolf riders. A horde of wolf riders, so not really worth taking on yet. I think we'll just continue exploring for now. And this hero here is pretty useless at the moment. So perhaps we can use it to transport some units. Uh, do we go straight in for the Pillar of Eyes and start getting some more units, or do we go Economy? It's a tough choice. I think we should go Economy. Or maybe pillars, Pillar of Eyes into Economy might be better. Although Mage Guild level 1 is kind of useful for attacking anyway, so it's not like it's a completely lopsided choice. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that's fine. End turn. Now we'll see what's up north. Oh, okay. A pack of bone dragons, so we definitely can't go very far. Uh, we've also got a Pandora's box guarded by several red dragons. Which could be decent in the kind of semi-late game, but yeah, that's actually a complete dead end, so... It is tempting to go back just to take on the Walking Dead. But I think we ultimately end up pretty stuck if we go back anyway because we're not going to be ready to take on the water elementals or the archmagi so we're not really going to be able to go anywhere there. Uh, just east here could be interesting, there are some serpent flies and we're not sure what else yet so that is something to potentially explore with this hero. Up here there's some gold. Oh, a gold mine, okay. They're not as powerful as they are in Heroes 2. I mean, I'm used to Heroes 2 where finding a gold mine is just the most amazing thing. Because you go from like 1,250 gold per town to 2,250 gold. 
which is a pretty massive increase if you can get one when you have just one town. But in this case, if you get the the capital, then you're going from 4,000 gold per turn to 5,000 gold per turn, so not quite on the same level. I suppose I potentially should go look underground, although there will be another guard on the other side of the underground tunnel, so... Possibly not that helpful. Could take on the trogs just to get a bit more experience, but I think I want to save most fighting until I've got a few more ranged units, so it might be time to head back soon. But first, let's see what's actually available here. So we've got a war machine factory. A few resources which aren't going to be particularly consequential, although it does keep going and we've got the ore mine. And actually that's a way of getting around altogether, so I think that would be worth pursuing. This hero meanwhile... I mean, we could explore up north here. I didn't realise you can get through that little gap between the rock and the trees there. Other thing I could do is use him to transport a few more units up to the Walking Dead here, which saves the main hero, like, a tiny amount of movement, but it's probably not worth it. It would be more useful just to see what's going on up here. The Horde of Iron Golems has a much easier way in than taking on the Bone Dragons. I'm kind of surprised that's an option, but it might not go very far. Um... Yeah, I've got no wood, so... I'm a bit limited now. And the marketplace is going to be heinously expensive. I mean, it's... There is an argument for swapping five crystal for one wood just to kind of keep the ball rolling. Get that snowball effect going. Realistically though, I mean Harpy Loft is tempting because Harpy Hags are kind of like pseudo ranged units, you don't have to worry about retaliation, you don't have to worry about leaving them in the middle of a, a mob of enemy units. Citadel is always a good option as well, it is ultimately needed for the, uh, for the capital. Plus it's just generally useful, but it's also extremely expensive so... I'm going to play it safe and get the Harpy Loft for now. And in the turn. Now let's do a little bit more exploring here. It looks like we might be blocked off still. Okay, yeah, we're still blocked off by mummies, so... That's a bit of a problem. Kind of makes coming back to the town a little bit less useful, although we can come in and get some first level spells, which in this case Bloodlust, uh, Magic Arrow pretty much guaranteed to get Magic Arrow so that's nothing special and then Curse and Dispel and Cure are all pretty mediocre so I'm not hugely tempted by the idea and the lack of wood is still a problem um, so I, perhaps I could take on the Walking Dead two lots of them in fact But I think I need to bring this hero back. Just to work them together a bit more. And I'm not sure I want to take them on just yet. Definitely want to go that far. But whether there's some way we can optimize... I mean, one day's journey. I'm not going to be able to get... yeah. Okay. I'm not going to be able to feed that hero very easily unless I go and spend another 2,500 gold on a fourth hero, which is totally pointless because I wouldn't have the money to actually use it effectively, so... Yeah, I didn't expect to be limited on resources quite this quickly, but that is the nature of the start we got, so we just got to work with it. Uh, Citadel is probably the only decent one there. Mana Vortex is really good, but at this stage in the game, 
not as immediately useful for getting the ball rolling. So let's take on the Walking Dead. I mean, that's okay, but let's see if we can do better. It should be possible. They're very, very slow. If I can just have them chase the Trogdolite around, that should, uh, that should save us some time. And they're slower than us, so let's bring them into range. Question is, who should go in for the first hit? Should the pikemen go in and get themselves hit? The thing about Walking Dead is they're fairly bulky, so they're kind of hard to kill off, but actually they do almost no more damage than a level 1 unit would, so... Potentially don't need to worry that much about the counter-attack. Griffin might even survive, but probably not. I think I am just going to go in with the trogs and hope for the best. Seventy-four to two twenty-two damage. How much is that going to do? So on average it's going to be doing like 160 damage, which is going to kill lots of them. So definitely worth doing. Three trogs. And we can finish them off pretty easily, so we'll change focus to the other one now. reach me. Okay. I didn't really look at that properly. No worries, it's one trog. Hmm. Yeah, there's no need to take that yet. We will move back slightly. Take a couple more shots. Probably worth it in the long run, although we are kind of not making a huge amount of progress. It's it's the start we have, so we just got to deal with it. Could be a while before we find anyone, and hopefully it will be, so we can catch up a bit. Thousand gold, that's a bit less than I hoped for. Where to go now? I think we do need to go back to the town, pick up a few more spells, and upgrade the harpies. And we will get the Pillar of Eyes. Just because I think, I think we're going to need to just brute force our way through this early stage of the game. We're not going to be able to build a great economy when we have zero wood income.
And I don't think there's anything left for the other two heroes to really do. So we'll have them wait around. Okay, we'll get seven of those straight away, so that's actually quite a big improvement. Although, not enough money to upgrade the harpies. How much would that actually cost? And is it worth finding out? So there's 170 each, so there's 40 for each harpy, so that would be a total of... 480 gold? So we only need another 170, which is going to be... Probably worth doing. And then with Jedi, I think we just go and try and explore underground. Gold mine would be nice, but we won't be ready for some time. Potentially could take on those Walking Dead there as well for the uh, for the easy Mercury income, but it's it's a bit of a detour, so I don't I don't love the idea. Lots of Harpies is probably much more doable now. And I think I would like to do that. Just because we could be coming back here quite a few times. Let's try and do that without all those losses. Is it worth spending magic here? No, I don't think it is. I think we'll try and do it without. Ah, crap. Okay. No, that's actually... That's actually a good thing, I think. But they do a lot more damage than I expected. And mine do nothing? That did so little. 27 damage. They're a bit tougher than I expected. I don't play this game that often, but uh... <laughs> I wouldn't have thought Harpies would be that difficult. Not that it's a big loss or anything, but the amount of hits they're taking is a bit of an inconvenience. And Dungeon in general is probably my least played faction, or close to it. I like the faction, I just never actually got around to playing them. The other thing I... I, the, I think the, probably the number one thing I don't like about Dungeon is the Pillar of Eyes building, and the fact that it costs one of every resource. Which is okay if you start on like 160% difficulty, but if you start on 200% difficulty, you then have to go and find one of every resource. Either that, or you just spend an extortionate amount of money in the market. And that's probably not really ever going to be worth it, and it's just going to set you on, on the back foot pretty early on. Especially if you get a bad start like this. Is it worth sacrificing you here? I mean, we'll put them nearby at least. I suppose the thing with harpies is, yeah, one to four damage, so there's an absolutely huge variance there. So if you can get the bless spell, they actually do really well with that. So it might not be a case of Harpies <laughs> being better at taking hits than I thought, it, it might be a case of Harpy Hags being really quite terrible. In fact, they're not really going to be doing any more damage than normal Harpies, it's just the lack of retaliation that they benefit from. Can you reach me? I 
They can't reach me. They are gonna go for the archers. And I can kill one of them. But at what price? Doesn't matter. I don't want to keep the griffins anyway. And they will take that one hit. So, that's fine. I'm gonna walk these off. That's fine, I won't lose one, so... Yeah, that's fine. Three trogs, the other units I'm, I'm never going to keep anyway. Basic Scholar, I do not want. What I really need is Earth Magic, because until I get Earth Magic, the Resurrection spell is actually not going to permanently resurrect my units. So that's, that's the thing to aim for. Unfortunately, next turn, next time we... Uh, go up a level, we're going to be forced to pick between two skills, so just got to hope one of them is good. I guess playing as a as a wizard character or, or a magic character, if you want to call it that, um, we are more likely to have a, a fairly decent choice, I think. I think we'll probably get offered one school of magic. So that should be fine. And I think we just have to go for it. I can't see any other nice looking directions. I don't want to take on the Beholders. That's guaranteed big losses. Unfortunately no gold to actually build something in the town. But I can send this guy back just to potentially shunt some units along at the start of next week. Although there is, like, almost no income to speak of. Okay, it's a new week. Uh, I don't want to spend my gold if I don't have to. A few more beholders would be nice. I think... I think it's a thing we should do. Sadly. It's possible that we'll find some more gold at the end of the turn. Taking on Master Gremlins for gold would not be worth it. Um, Silver Pegasi, we wouldn't win that. And Infernal Trogs. The Windmill. I don't think we have any great need of those types of resources right now. I don't think the Windmill tends to give you wood, I could be wrong. But even if it does, it's, it's a low chance. And what we really need is gold. So let's hope for the best here. Uh, okay. That would not be good if that happens, so um, maybe we do have to use some spells here. And I, I definitely want to weaken these. These are a big problem. As it looks like they are going to go for the, uh, the pikemen here. It's okay, let's me get a nice juicy shot off. And they can't actually get through this little gap here, so... That's quite useful. Oh no, that's really bad. Okay, luckily they go for the, uh, the spearmen. Pikemen. Whatever they're called. Uh, you guys can reach us, so I'm gonna get you since the the wolf raiders have already had their turn they're only doing oh god that's not good well I don't see what choice we have I, I think we have to take that fight it's 
So this turn, round two. So the riders have all already gone. The trogs are killing 11 riders with each shot, so... You guys have the same health as you guys. Five and five, yeah, okay. So I think... I think we do this. They're going to take at least two turns to get around the ice lake, so let's go for these instead. Oh, what? Oh, I see, okay. So there's a little... Oh, that's absolutely terrible. There's a little hex here, which looks like it's blocked off by the ice lake, but actually it's it's perfectly fine. So those were some pretty heavy losses, but I'm not going to reload the battle for that. That's not... That's annoying, but okay. So basic intelligence versus basic fire magic. Fire magic could be interesting because as dungeon you do get black dragons and you can potentially start using the Armageddon spell with your black dragons, do a little bit more damage. Black dragons are immune to Armageddon whereas everything else on the field is going to be taking tons of damage, which is useful if you end up with nothing but black dragons. But I think as a resurrection specialist you want basic intelligence because you ultimately will double your spell points which will let you use resurrection more often. So let's go for that and let's have a look. Oh, come on. A pack of oh. A pack of diamond golems, that's... that's not gonna happen. Fortunately on the HD mod you can just jump back in and you're not stuck, you don't lose a hero like that. I think on the normal game you would just lose the hero there, they would be completely stuck with whatever you find on the other end. We're gonna have to play this really defensive. It is not ideal for my return to YouTube, it's not ideal. I can normally be a bit more aggressive and then I'm not so much on the back foot. So I don't know what the AI is up to right now, it's already week 2 and there's just almost zero income coming in. I think what I have to do is save the city hall. And in the meantime just take some really basic fights like the Trogs. The Walking Dead. Maybe the Familiars as well. Just to try and get some more income. In the meantime, while we start very impoverished. And that's all we can do. Huge pain. I need some gold. If I could get that gold mine I'd be really happy but Silver Pegasi, despite being kind of probably my least favorite of all the Rampart units, um, you, you don't want to be fighting them with 15 Evil Eyes and 12 Harpy Hags and 30 Trogs, it just wouldn't go well. Let's just get the windmill. Just do what we can in this area. It is not too good. But it is good to have a challenge from time to time, just not not when you haven't yet established yourself as a <laughs> as a person who knows what they're doing. Which I don't, I, I've never claimed to be amazing at this game, but this is a genuinely 
suboptimal start. I think everyone would agree with that. Hmm. You know what, you're not actually going to have a great time getting me if I go there. Perhaps just in case- no actually, three trogs. I'm not gonna kill a harpy either way. It's not even worth shooting. Well, they actually got one. Okay, job done. Two trogs, no problem. Very little lost, very little gained. It's the best we can do. <laughs> On to the Walking Dead, I guess. Alchemist Lab, bit of mercury. Not very useful for dungeon. But not nothing. It's day two, so... I don't need to be rushing to grab that windmill, I can use the rest of my movement points on getting home. And I'll use Orin to get the windmill. Is there something I'm missing? Is there any way through? Anywhere? Doesn't look like it. It's fine, in the end it might make it a more interesting challenge. You do get those games where you just completely steamroll the AI, but uh, I've not managed to do that so far on my channel. But it is only the third time I've attempted a map. One day it'll happen. It might even happen too often. You never know. Right then, Castigar. Castigar, Castigar. What did I just spend my gold on? Oh yeah, Blacksmith. Ballista's. Ballista's not going to be too helpful. But obviously that does open up the city hall. Which is potentially going to take five days of buying nothing. Maybe four days if I do some very costly trading. Such as with the with the gems. We don't want to take on the dragonflies, I don't think. It could probably be done. But it's, it's not as nice of a fight as the Walking Dead fight is. The Walking Dead fight should be little to no losses. Whereas a dragonfly fight, we don't gain much, so I don't think we should do it. Couldn't have been much more useless if it tried. And you can just get the obelisk. I don't want to get any more units right now. It's just not worth the money. Do you want to take on lots of archers? No. I could do it, I could sacrifice a few harpies. But for what though, like a, an extra one spell power? I've already got four. Some ore, which is probably the resource I need least. It's not worth it. Oh, that's bad. I should have split my units first, but... Okay, they form as one big stack. And I think I will be going back to the town, so I can't afford to spend my spell points. I mean, in theory, I can probably just run away from these things, I guess. I hope. Just to be absolutely certain, I'm going to try and... ...sacrifice these two units just to hold them back. Might not be necessary to, but... I think it should be fine.
Okay, so they're not fast enough to actually kite these things. Trogs. The trogs actually can. If I can actually pull them to the trogs, that would be quite amazing. Harpies are at risk. I don't know if we need to take any losses here. Yeah, they're actually going for the trogs. So that's perfect. Worth it for the XP, probably. How many shots do I have? Five shots left, yeah, okay, that'll finish them. That's fine. Is there actually. They're going for the harpies now. Can they reach me? They can, okay. Oh, they're still going for them. But they're in range. Oops. Okay. Didn't need to take a loss at all, but never mind. One trog. No biggie. Okay, we've uh, we've got that now. Do I need to care about my main hero's movement points? I'm really just in it for the money. I mean, I can't, I can't do anything with the hero. Pack of dragonflies for an obelisk. Not worth doing. Hmm. Hmm. Three more days to kill. I should have more heroes actually as well, so we got the Meteor Shower Specialist. Who is quite good. And the Witch, who is quite useless. That's more like something I'd go for if I actually had money, which I don't, so... I think I'll skip. Two more days to go. Get a few more movement points next turn. In the turn there. Oh, someone someone has appeared. Someone has appeared. But where? I think it was underground, but either that or the game was just glitching out, but I'm sure that was a rival player somewhere, which is not great. We've got one more day left to kill. 
Do we need to take any losses at all? Possibly not. Where will they go? Will they go? Will they go down or will they go up? Oh, that's good. They're going. They're going up. Can they reach me? They can reach me. They're gonna go for the trogs. Four trogs. Fine. Pathfinding is really tempting um, because I, I have inexplicably started off on on snow terrain, but we already know the way out, so I won't bother. It's not really one of my favourite skills. And I'll end the turn in the base, get my spell points back. And you can grab whatever this is. Three crystal. Sulfur is what you want when you're playing as dungeon. Just get a few more movement points at the start of next turn. And end the turn there. And now we've got the city hall. Which is double our previous income. But what do we do with it? I think we're kind of stuck turtling for a little while longer. Can't take on diamond golems. Probably Hall of Iron Golems might be the easiest thing to break. Mummies I don't think are too bad to kill. But where does that lead? I don't, I don't know if that leads anywhere at all. Archmage I we definitely don't want to fight. So that's a no-go. There's not even a crypt or something. Like There's, there's no way to get more resources yet. It's day seven. So I can get another twenty four harpies plus sixteen beholders. Oh beholders are the yeah, beholders are Okay, beholders are the unupgraded ones and evil eyes are the upgraded ones. I've been getting that the wrong way around. Okay. Yeah. I don't play dungeon often, and this is not the ideal way to begin. question is, what do we do now? Not the Beholders. Not the Iron Golems. Gremlins, maybe? That's gotta be doable. Bit of extra gold. Yeah, I think we go for the Gremlins. First we have to move some people out of the way. We'll wait Orin on there so we can get some, some resources at the start of next week. Yeah, you ride out a bit. Give him his units back. You can nearly get there and you go back in there. And we end turn. No more movement this time, so no one's coming just yet. 2,000 gold to spend now. I think I do just want to go straight in for... Units. We've got Gunnar, who's really good. And Zydar, who's kind of average. Take the harpies. And just spread them out as much as possible. Mm, nope, 
I don't want that to happen. Okay, 45 spell points. Uh, resurrection will only be temporary, so not that useful. Curse. Not that useful either, really. Okay. You guys just defend. gold. So that's actually saved us a day of waiting, which is not bad. What do we go for? Chapel of Steel Voices. Need three more wood from somewhere. Could buy it. Well, it has been a, a very ponderous start, but sometimes that happens, sometimes you need to kind of overcome an obstacle at the beginning and then things start moving a bit more quickly afterwards. So it's not been the most action-packed first start, first turn, whatever you want to call it, beginning of the map. But I think I will have to end the part there. And in the next part, I expect that we will be able to break down one of these big barriers and then start actually exploring the map a bit more and hopefully getting the ball rolling a bit. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been interesting. I hope you found it interesting too on some level. And I will see you in the next part. As always, do check the description, I will have a link to the playlist, so just click on that playlist and you can watch the whole thing in one go.